Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of the show. This past weekend, I visited Middle Georgia Con. Now this is not a new con, but it is in a new convention space. So it was a lot bigger than previous versions of this con. And let's be honest, before it was very, very small. Now it's in the Macon Coliseum, which is huge. And it has lots of space, way more vendors, lots of cool things to look at. Now, this show is put on by Fanboy Collectibles. And I have done a video of their store in the past. So if uh, you want to, check it out right up in here somewhere, wherever I put it. I went in thinking this was going to be like a, a nice toy show. But it is a comic book convention. And it was Honestly, it was geared more toward comic collectors, and uh, that's okay. There were still some toy vendors there, and I tried to get everybody in the video that was a toy vendor, so if I missed you, I am sorry, but but I, I tried to get everybody in there. So let's start off by taking a look with a little walkthrough of the convention space. <music>
Something I've been noticing a lot at conventions lately is the 3D market space. Apparently a lot of people are getting into this 3D printing thing and it shows because there were several vendors here showing off their 3D printed wares. And after talking to a few of them, I understand that uh, this is a time consuming project. I mean, just one little item could take up to... 12 to 15 hours to print it's absolutely crazy i don't have a 3d printer one of my buddies actually just got one and uh kind of excited to see what he puts out with it but as you can see there's a in the video there's a lot of cool uh 3d printed things actually some things that i've seen online like ads for the 3d print files and i actually got to see them printed out and it's kind of cool and it's kind of scary because could this be the path that toys are taking? Like one day Hasbro is just selling you the 3D print file so you can print it out on your 3D printer? I don't know. But check out these vendors that were selling their 3D prints.
with a specific mission on what I wanted to buy. And honestly, I didn't see much of, of, of anything that I, that really, really struck my interest, except for the one vendor who had the classic, the, the original Silverhawk stuff. Man, but that stuff is going for some money now. I really wanted to dive in and grab some of those, but I couldn't. But what I did do, I did buy a couple of vintage Star Wars items. Uh, I, I For 20 bucks, I picked up uh, C-3PO and 88 uh, this is from Return of the Jedi. This is from the Empire Strikes Back because this is the part, the, the version that comes apart, as you can see. Uh, really nice, crisp looking one. The only thing he didn't come with was the, was the little black bag that fits on, on the back of Chewbacca and you can throw all the pieces and parts in. Overall, it was a nice first con in the new venue. Uh, I'm looking forward to going back. This is more geared towards the comic community and not the toy community. I would have liked to have seen even more toy vendors there. And hopefully in the future, you know, that happens. I, I really would like to see it. There was lots of manga, anime kind of things. People selling anime prints or selling uh, cosplay pieces and parts, stuff like that, swords, knives, things that don't really interest me. I'm, I'm more of a toy guy, and uh, I dabble in the comics. Uh, don't get me wrong, I do dabble in the comics, and I got to meet some uh, cool artists and, and writers there. Uh, so that was, that was kind of cool. All in all, it was a good experience, uh, especially for a first convention. I know that they've probably learned some stuff, gained some knowledge that they'll take into the next one. And I'm excited to see how that progresses. Uh, but if you like what I'm doing here, please hit that like button, that subscribe button. Check out more of my content. I sure would appreciate it. And as always, God bless.